Sure. And, and so maybe talk a little bit about, I've got kind of two threads that I want to pull on a little bit here with, with, with that answer. So the first one is being, Raytheon's a huge company, as you mentioned. Um, I worked for a little bit of time at um, not a similar size company, but like a big company, 3M. And, and one of the things that I kind of observed is that it's very easy to kind of get in your own silo and kind of not necessarily get lost, but like, hey, that's your lane and you're going to kind of see that particular lane. But like, there's such a big behemoth of other stuff going on. And like, so finding the nodes, like it sounds like you did with Jim, who has had experience a lot longer than you in it, but but also would you be able to see maybe that 30,000 foot views? Like, here's how you actually move the ball ahead in a big company. Because I, I think oftentimes that's people's complaints about um, large companies or even companies in general is like, they're not good at yeah. making decisions, right? And so it sounds like early on, you were able to figure out like, okay, what are the, like, what are the things I need to do to like move the chess pieces in place to get someone yeah. to, to move, move where I want them to be? So... I'm glad you I'm glad you mentioned that. So Jim was very influential from like a technical, hey, change the way you think. Here's a different perspective to approach problems. Um, I credit him with a lot of things. The person who is the chess master, like you're talking about, is a lady named Mary Herndon. She's a senior engineering fellow at the company now. Um, and she she I credit her solely for helping me get into the advanced studies program, getting involved with the additive manufacturing community and um, really graduating. She, she's been at my side for this entire time um, since 2014 or whatever. It, it's, been, it's been an incredible journey with her. Um, she, is, she is absolutely the person that helped me navigate all that because it is such a huge company and you have to, I know people approach problems in a different way. Some people want all the details first and then they can understand the big picture. Some people want the big picture first and then they can go find the details. Um, he, she's helpful in either capacity, but you kind of hear about these different things and then you hear a different, a new acronym like IRAD or CRAD or something. And you're like, what is that? How does that fit in? Um, who is this person? How do they uh, plug into the larger technology strategy at the company? Um, he was like essential in helping me navigate that. And I've tried to help other people on my teams navigate that in the past years. Because it's, it's an important thing to understand, especially with the company that's big, even Raytheon Missiles and Defense, RMD, the, the business unit that I work at, uh, it's huge. We have a huge presence in uh, the Northeast, in the, in the Massachusetts area. We have a huge presence in Arizona, in the Tucson area. And um, I'm in North Texas. We have a presence here too. And so it's, um, it's just a huge company. And then there's the other three businesses that have technical experts in uh, aluminum metal powder bed fusion that are very closely aligned to what I'm interested in and they have different perspectives and experience. And so it's, it's trying to, to navigate all of those different pieces and making sure that um, you're talking to people to get input on your project, but also that people are aware of you so that they can ask you questions whenever they need it. Right. Cause it's, I think we had a, one of our CEOs uh, a long time ago, um, they said, if Raytheon only knew what Raytheon knew, think of, think of, you know, the power of that. And, and that's, that's all the, the, the essence of that is, you know, if we can introduce each other to each other um, and have a network of people to talk, it's, it's just a, it's a exponential function of learning. Right. So I think the additive community within Raytheon um, and Raytheon technologies now, they, they do a really good job at that. We are, we are very well plugged in with each other. We, we know what each other are doing. Um, we merged in 2020 and we're still learning about each other and we're still trying to make it out to whatever site in whatever state and um, you know ask questions and get plugged in. But it's always a, it's always a learning opportunity 